Hi, my name's Simon Wood from Mega, and in this video we're going to run through a full setup procedure of the MFT 1700 series multifunction tester. Okay, so what we're going to do today is actually run through the setup parameters that are available on the MFT 1700 series. Over on the right hand range knob we can select our spanner or setup position and the left hand range can be turned to any setting. The unit will initially come up with a version number and then it takes us into our setup menu. Now to cycle through any of the options we basically use our function key on the front here. So what I'll do is I'll describe each of these in sequence and clarify exactly the operational parameters for each setting. So the RST at the moment is selected to no. This is in essence a reset, so it's a factory reset facility. If we wanted to go in and carry out the factory reset, we press either one of the up or down buttons and you'll see that now we have the yes displayed and we have to initiate a save at this point by pressing the save button. I'm not going to reset at this point, so I'm going to select no. I'm going to select our function key, which takes us through to our insulation limit alarms. The limit alarms allow us to set a value above which, when carry out an insulation test, the unit will give you an audible indication to say that the reading is above the preset value. So as you can see, at the moment it's set at one mega ohm. I can actually go in and alter this value and then press the save button at any time and then move on to the next setting. The LOC is the insulation test lock. Now this is defaulted to on. Now the 1720 and the 1730 units come with a test probe which allows us to maintain two-handed operation. However, some people like to press the test button and lock the test on. So you have the applied voltage on the probes all the time. As I say, at the moment it's defaulted to on, but to select off, we just use the up and down, and then we would select save. So I'm going to leave it in the on position. Next, we have our continuity limit alarm. So this, exactly the same principle, but what we're looking for is a reading of less than the preset value. So again, at the moment, we have two ohms, and we can go in and select it down to one ohm, or we can increase that value. But as soon as we get a reading below the preset value, the unit will indicate with an audible alarm. Next, we have the ISC, which is actually our test current. Obviously, for the requirement of the 17th edition, we carry out continuity testing at 200 milliamps. What we can do, however, is we can reduce this down to a 15 milliamp value. Now, one of the main tests that will drain the battery is the continuity testing. So if you find yourself belling out lots of cables by selecting the 15 milliamp, it will extend the battery life considerably, and you can just go and obviously identify by belling out individual cables, and then when you're carrying out your full 17th edition continuity tests, you can go back to 200 milliamps. The next option is our auto reverse continuity test. Now it isn't something that we ordinarily use in the UK, however, if you have got the instance where you've got a number of cables that have been connected together and you believe that there may be moisture in the cable, by utilising the auto reverse, just by selecting the on and obviously saving it, it will actually alleviate any discrepancy of reading that's being built up, in essence, with what you've got is a battery. The loop is basically the recorded or stored value of the impedance of the lead sets that we use when carrying out loop impedance testing. This alleviates the issue of having to null out a lead set before doing a loop impedance test. So the mega standard leads are actually manufactured to identical impedances and this is deducted away from the value. 
However, if you're using a non-standard mega lead, you can go in and actually select the value of the lead that you're going to be using. Loop Auto Start LAS. As you can see, this is on, but if you didn't want it to start automatically, we can go in and select the off and save. We then have the option to turn on or off the LPE two-wire high current test. So if you do not want to carry out any high current testing, you can actually set the unit so that this is in the off position. And this also relates to the low current two-wire test. The RAS is our RCD auto start. As I said, when we actually carry out the test, if you want the unit to start automatically when it sees the main voltage, you can turn this function on here. This defaults to the off position. UL is our touch voltage. So during an RCD test, it'll actually monitor to make sure that we do not get a dangerous voltage measured between the neutral and the earth during an RCD test and it will actually inhibit the test should this voltage rise to greater than 50 volts. The off is the auto off facility. So if the unit is left unattended, we can select either two minutes, we can turn it off altogether so the unit will remain on until the battery discharges, or we can set it to 10 minutes. The backlight, we have the facility of the auto backlight, so when a range selection is made, at the start of a test or when a test completes, the backlight will turn on, and as you can see, it goes off, and this is really a saving the battery life. The BAT is the battery value. Now on the MFT1730, because we have rechargeable cells, they're actually rated at 1.2 volts. However, they are standard AA size. So if you wanted to swap these out with a standard AA cell, because you'd forgotten to charge the unit the night before, for example, you can actually go in and select a 1.5 volt cell, which is a standard AA. We then have the storage facility. Because the unit, on the, because the 1730 can store up to 1,000 results internally, we can also ask it to actually send the results instantaneously via the Bluetooth straight into our PowerSuite software. And the options here are basically internal and the Bluetooth out. So if we cycle through, you can see we can have just the internal storage memory. We can just select the Bluetooth, the individual results, or we can select both. And finally, we have our Bluetooth setup facility. And this is actually described in a separate video. Thank you for watching this video today. If you require any more information, you can speak to our Dover sales office on 01304 502 101. All mega products come with a lifetime technical support and our team can be reached on 01304 502 102. Alternatively, you can visit our website follow us on Facebook or Twitter, or view additional videos on our YouTube channel.